total consecration to Jesus through Mary. Day 4. Topic 4. Enter Through the Narrow Door. Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. Book 3. Chapter 7. 40. That man has not good of himself, and that he cannot glory in anything, Lord. What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visit him? What has man deserved that thou should give him grace? Lord, what cause have I to complain if thou forsaket me? Or what can I justly allege if what I petition thou shalt not grant? This most assuredly I might truly think and say, Lord, I am nothing. I can do nothing of myself that is good. But I am in all things defective and ever tend to nothing. And unless I am assisted and interiorly instructed by Thee, I become wholly tepid and relaxed. But Thou, O Lord, art always the same, and endurest unto eternity, ever good, just, and holy, doing all things well, justly and holily, and disposing them in wisdom. But I, who am more inclined to go back than to go forward, continue not always in one state, for I am changed seven different times. But it quickly becomes better when it pleases thee, and thou stretches out thy helping hand, for thou alone, without man's aid, can assist me, and so strengthen me, that my containment shall be more diversely changed, but my heart be converted, and find its rest in thee alone. He who would be too secure in time of peace will often be found too much dejected in time of war. If you could always continue to be humble and little in your own eyes, and keep your spirit in due order and subjection, you would not fall so easily into danger and offense. It is good counsel that when you have conceived the spirit of fervor, you should meditate how it will be when that light shall be withdrawn. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou and thy sevenfold gifts are known. Thou finger of God's hand we own, Thou promise of the Father, Thou who dost the tongue with power in view. Kindle our sense from above, And make our hearts overflow with love, With patience firm and virtue high, The weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us strive the foe we dread, And grant us thy peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide, Turn from the path of life aside, Oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death to glory given, with thou, the Holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Mary Stella, hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirmed within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, 
for all blessings pray show thyself a mother may the word divine born for us thine infant hear our prayers through thine virgin all exceeding mildest of the mild free from guilt preserve us meek and undefiled keep our life all spotless make our way secure till we find in jesus joy forevermore praise to god the father honor to the son in the holy spirit be the glory one amen magnificat my soul doth magnify the lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in god my savior because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed because he that is mighty has done great things to me and holy is his name and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him he hath thrown might in his arm he hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart he hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble he hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away he hath received israel his servant being mindful of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to abraham and to his seed forever amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy ghost as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen